guys, it's Caitlin, and I don't like ebooks. So this is going to possibly be an unpopular video. I can't really tell you because I don't know how generally people feel about ebooks. I know that a lot of my relatives like love them. But then I also know that almost everybody I know who actually reads, reads physical books. I don't know honestly if it's because a lot of them don't know ebooks exist. Don't tell them. My first reason is that unless you have a Kindle, like an actual like physical Kindle, not just the Kindle app, for some reason it's just like impossible to get everything formatted to the page properly. For me at least, when I read on my tablet it's just too bright and if I turn it down it's too dim and there's no happy middle ground. If it's on my phone the words are either too small or it's like two sentences per page and I've tried adjusting it and sometimes I can get it right but 90% of the time it's just fucked up beyond repair. I also don't like that when reading ebooks in some formats you can get page numbers but in other formats you cannot. You don't know what page you're on, you don't know how many pages there are, you maybe know the percentage you've gotten through, but maybe you also don't. I don't freaking know. I also don't like that if you are reading an ebook, people just think you're on your phone. If I'm sitting here reading this book, oh look, she's reading a book. Maybe I should leave her the hell alone. If I'm sitting here reading an ebook on my phone, they're like, oh, she's on Facebook. Let's go annoy her. No, don't annoy me. If I wanted to talk to you, I would talk to you. Why does my phone make you think otherwise? My other problem with ebooks is that, like, for whatever reason, ebooks seem to be just as expensive as the actual physical copies, except you don't get something pretty to put on your bookshelf. You just keep this thing on your phone where no one's ever gonna see it. Like, why do I want to pay 12 bucks for an ebook? And the ones that are cheaper or, like, free, you don't want to read those. If you can find a free or a cheap, like, physical book, it's probably still gonna be good. But like ebooks, they're just not. But I'm not going to get out of this video without saying a couple of good things about ebooks because that's just who I am as a person. I am contradictory and I lie to your face and I lie to my face and I don't even know how I feel inside. Ugh. So I kind of also am starting to like ebooks because no matter what time of day it is, you can read one without turning on a lamp or using one of those little nifty book lamps that has like the little arm that you can like twist into positions and never actually sit tried and falls off and hits your face and bends your book and ruins your whole entire life. I always just clip those things to my shirt and hope for the best. I also like that they're, they are slightly more convenient than an actual book because let's be honest it's way easier to carry around my phone which fits in my hand than it is to haul around this thing like this is massive. I. I don't even know if this would fit in my purse because I tend to carry books in my purse about 80% of the time. This would barely fit in my purse. Even if it does fit, like by the end of the day, like my back is killing me because I've been hauling around this bitch all day. The other thing I like about ebooks is a lot of the time to get a physical book, almost always you have to pay for it and it costs you money. Like sometimes it's like a quarter, but sometimes you go and you spend like 20 bucks on a new hardcover and then it freaking sucks. And then you're mad, but if you get an ebook, you usually can just get it for free and then if it sucks, you're not as mad. Like, you're just like, wow, this blows, what the fuck? But you're not angry, whereas when you buy a book and you spend all that time hauling it around in your purse and you break your spine carrying this book around and you spent $20 on it and it sucks so bad that your soul is now gone, you're mad. I guess I'm equally mad when I spend 99 cents on a shitty ebook as I am when I spend 20 bucks on a shitty normal book. But I'm also just angry like 99% of the time and I just hide it with a smile. So that was my I hate ebooks rant turned into a I actually like ebooks I don't know what I'm talking about discussion. This video was all over the place and not at all what I expected and I'm sure that you are just as disappointed as I am. Thanks so much for watching. Comment down below, let me know if you like ebooks, and if you do, give me five reasons why. Or don't, you don't have to, I really... Whatever. Thanks so much for watching, bye!
Mm, I don't know if this would fit. I'm gonna find out. I just remembered that my purse is in my car and it's windy and I don't wanna go.